Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. This is a Patreon patron request. So for the person that uh, requested this tutorial, thank you so much for your support. And I apologize for taking so long. It took a while for me to get to this request. You know, things tend to fall in the back burner sometimes. But anyways, here it is. The request for his, uh, was for how to do the um, sort of helix paracord uh, key fob or lanyard. And that's what we're doing today. Okay, so it's very simple this one uh, if you know how to tie a cobra knot you pretty much know how to do it it's a slightly different variation got some nice details here as well with some micro cord turned out pretty nice for a lanyard i think this knot is uh it's very good you can get a nice grip on it you know it's also nice to have as a key fob as well all right so guys remember if you're looking for any of the tools video uh sorry tools paracord and products you see in this video Definitely check out those affiliate links down below because uh, when you shop through those links, you help me out the channel greatly. Also, feel free to check out my Patreon. I'm going to be revamping that Patreon completely uh, very soon with some very, very um, awesome rewards for future supporters. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to do a in-depth video about that very soon. And I think you guys will like it. All right. So um, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay. So to do this Helix Knot lanyard, it's going to be pretty easy, quite simple. So I'm going to use um, this piece of paracord here for my kind of spine and uh, really quickly I'm just going to tie a diamond knot at the very end. So let's go through that uh, fast mode because we've done it so many times before. Okay, so that is done. Remember, if you don't know how to tie the diamond knot, I have my dedicated tutorial for that. So check the link in the description. So now for the main part of the lanyard. Uh, as you can see, I'm using two different thicknesses of paracord just to mix it up a little, make it a little more different. Uh, I've got 425 licorice on this side and the, uh, I believe this is the, it's I think the emerald green or the forest green. I always confuse those two. Anyways, I'll put the right one in the description down below. So we're going to start this off up top. This is where your lanyard will be. Uh, that's where your attachment point will be. So now um, the way you tie the kind of helix weave is we're going to start it off just like, just like we do uh, with the Cobra knot or Solomon knot. So we're going to take the green cord and we'll lay it over the core. And then we're going to take the red, Go on top of that and then go through the other side. So that's super simple. It's just like how we start off the usual Solomon knot bracelet. Now, unlike the Solomon, normally you would continue by you know, going over this way. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to continue use, doing the same knot using the same side. So we did right over the core. Now we're going to do the right again. So if you're using two different colors like me, it's going to alternate, right? So now licorice over the core, green over top of that. Put that through the opening you created and then pull that shut. Okay. So it's going to start off looking a little weird, but this is how it's done. And then now we're going to continue that same thing. Green over the core licorice through there. So I'm always putting the right side strand over top the core. So again, same knot over and over. We're not going to alternate like we do with the uh, Solomon knot. Okay. So pull that shut. So as you can see, the more uh, knots that I tie, it starts to twist. Yes, and that's what creates that kind of helix effect. So if you're making a lanyard with this style, you definitely want to make it long enough so that you can start to see this twisting pattern here, because if you make it too short, you're not really going to notice it. So I would make a section of lanyard that's at least a couple inches, um, maybe three. So you can see it's starting to twist and that is pretty much it. I'm just going to continue working my way down my lanyard. Okay. I'm just going to probably keep going until I run out of space. So keep doing that. And then, um, 
When we get to the end, we'll just trim off the excess. But there you go. You can already start to see that pattern forming. Okay, so I'm just going to do a few more knots and then we'll be almost done. Okay, so uh, that is done now. I've got a decent section here and it's got that nice helix effect, that spiral effect. I'm just going to sip and singe my cord here. And of course, for your tail ends here, you can cut them off there. I'm going to leave a little space here and I'm going to do a continuation of this knot, but with micro cord. I'm going to do that down these sections here. Okay, so um, just do the exact same knot and just as a nice little detail, I'm going to add that two bits of um, micro cord down here. Okay, and there we have it, we are done. So, I think those little details on the end there make it quite nice. You don't have to do that, of course, you can just leave them as they are, or just cut cut off the paracord and leave that solid uh, diamond knot at the end. And there we have it, that is the Helix paracord uh, key fob, you can call it lanyard. So again, this was a Patreon request. So remember guys, there are some perks for supporting me on Patreon, so definitely check that out if you are uh, got some free time. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one as well. And yeah, so, uh, okay, and there we have it, we are done. So all that excess paracord has been snipped off. It's a bit of a mess, but it's all done. And uh, yeah, this key fob or lanyard is looking pretty good. It's got some nice grip to it, especially this one with that kind of helix pattern on it. And of course, these little details turned out quite nice too. You don't have to do that. You can just snip and singe it where it is if you don't want to leave any excess kind of tails here. But I think this looks pretty cool too. All right. So again, this was a Patreon request. So there are some perks for supporting me on Patreon. And I'm going to be doing a complete revamp of my uh, Patreon page. Um, some much, much better rewards. I'm definitely going to be posting up there a lot more uh, frequently because I haven't been doing the best job there. But for the people that have been supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that support. All right. So uh, that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And hey, I appreciate you guys here on YouTube as well, watching my videos, you know, just watching the video and, uh, you know, clicking the like button. That helps out a lot too. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll most definitely see you on the next tutorial video.